something people probably don't know about is the, the Bill Newcomb and Pete Nallis die uh, connection with our school of natural resources. Um, so Radrick started out as a master's project for, uh, through the School of Natural Resources. And Bill Newcomb, who was a really good golfer back then, at the time he actually played the masters as an amateur. So he did a master's project. He put 36 holes here. And the way he tells the story is then President Hatcher says to him, okay, now who can really do this? And he had played with Pete in tournaments or played against Pete in tournaments down in Indiana. And so he put um, some names, you know, architects' names down, and he, he put them down even though that they had only done nine holes. Um, President Hatcher went down and uh, played the nine holes, came back, uh, interviewed Pete Dye, and spent two or three hours talking to him, and then they got the job. So that's really cool. thing in the archives I think is the drawing from the original drawing from 1964 from the dies. Um, you know the last time we talked to them about this drawing well just this week um, you know Pete said the thing with his whole career is he doesn't do drawing so when we showed them this they said well yeah that's our drawing but who colored it up and fancied it up and they think somebody from the art department or something at the university might have done that but it's a really cool drawing it hangs in our foyer in the clubhouse. Um, it's got the whole routing of the golf course um, and it's their drawing fancied up by somebody. So <laughs> it's pretty cool and they got a kick out of it. Well, it was self-imposed <laughs> and it was this year because we brought goats on a property. Our superintendent Dan Malsoff researched this a lot Actually, Parker is part of their master's project called Greener Golf. They, they found the same research. Dan went and found a goat farm in Island where we could rent goats and it's a portable electric fence. And so we had goats here for three weeks, I think, uh, eating boy buckthorn, um, you know, invasive species in our natural areas. And actually, I think they're coming back next week to try to finish off some of the things. So, you know, we see turkey, we see deer, we see the eagle, we see foxes. I saw a fox and kill a goose one time, that was pretty cool, but really the most interesting is self-imposed with the goats. <laughs> That's kind of, you know, I think Pete and Alice and I have tried to do that throughout their career. Most of our, well all of our holes have approaches, so you can always find a way to get at the green. It doesn't matter how far you hit the ball, and Alice is part of our continuous improvement center, something they really gave us, one of the best gifts they gave us is they came back in 1985. So there's, there's different courses you can play within the course because of that, so different yardages, and they, they always give you, you can play the course, uh, you know, you don't have to hit the ball a ton to get at the 